Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is October 26th. It's Friday. Just got off work. It's like 8, 8 o'clock a.m. 7.43 actually. Um, it's a good day at FedEx. I'm officially done with training and so now I'll just jump right full-time into my job or full-time. It's actually a part-time job but I'll be like kind of on a regular schedule which is 3.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. 8, I mean, yeah, 3.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, but that just means that my schedule is going to be changing and I'll be waking up every day at, you know, 3.30. Which means I'll be going to bed earlier, which means I'll just have to shift my day. Um, been waking up earlier the last couple days just to get to training, and I have found so far that I really like it, actually. Um, it allows me to just get my day started. I feel really accomplished by the time I'm off work, so I'm like, oh, well, it's only... 8 a.m. and I have the rest of the day to do what I need to do, do what I want to do. So I'm going to go to the gym right now. I think that's going to become kind of the, the routine pattern. Um, you know, only working five hour shifts because I'm a part time worker allows me a lot of time to work on Ricks and Queens. So that's what I need to be doing and will be trying to focus a lot of my energy on accomplishing that. So I wanted to make this quick video today, as the title suggests, about the fourth quarter. And when I'm talking about the fourth quarter, I mean the fourth business quarter. Um, but I think this also is kind of applicable to just like sports in general. And I'm kind of drawing on some of my experiences as a, a former athlete. My sport of choice in, you know, throughout, I guess, basically my entire life was basketball. My dad was my basketball coach. Um, and the fourth quarter was always, you know, the most important quarter. It's like, it's the end of the game. And so you really have to... Uh, put it all on the court that during that time and starting to work at FedEx and having worked at Amazon before I started thinking about well FedEx is onboarding a lot of new employees right now as people who've really been following me know for a long time I worked at Amazon around the exact same time last year as a temporary employee and these these big shipping companies they bring on employees at this time of the year because because business is booming during the fourth quarter. Uh, it's, it's when most consumer businesses do their most sale volume. Um, you know, obvious, obviously the holiday season, season, can't speak, you have Black Friday, uh, Christmas, you know, even shortly after Christmas up till New Year's, people are still, you know, buying a lot of things, returning items, uh, just a lot is going on. And so I started thinking about, well, Real, really, this video today is, you know, this is, I guess, for me, as I, you know, see things having evolved, this is the first fourth quarter I've ever played in as a small business owner. Uh, you know, I started my business, quote unquote, started, I guess, September of 2017, technically, um, but it took a long time even to get to the form of like oh rooks and queens like at first it was I didn't even know what I was doing but anyways um, I feel like this is the first fourth quarter I've played in and pardon me I still have I can still honestly say I've never sold a shirt never sold any uh, brand specific product I've sold products but not brand specific products and so I have high aspirations over the next uh, month, two months that I have left in this fourth quarter, and I'm, you know, although I'm low on advertising budget, I'm still going to do as much graph, growth hacking as I can, um, social media hacking as I can, and really just like not let circumstances get me down, um, and yeah, just kind of show my rookie season, prove something to myself, you know what I'm saying, and excited for a lot more of these quarters and, and, and business cycles and just life and I, it's funny because I guess coming up on a year anniversary even of when I started Steam it and started documenting on the Steam platform um, it really allows me to just reflect in a very unique way uh, sit back also appreciate you know how how quickly and how slowly time is and how how much time I have left and I'm just getting started. Um, really excited over the next 10, 20, 30 years to, to just continue to build Ricks and Queens. And so thank you guys for watching, keeping up with the vlog. I'll see you in the next one.
Peace.